Problem two. Six athletes are each labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right now, the amount of games the athletes labeled one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five each have played is equal to their own labels. So what does that mean? It means that athlete one has played a uh, one game. So one game. Athlete two has played two games, and so on. Um, every, everybody is like that except for Athlete 6. So we're trying to find how many games have Athlete 6 already played. Now, uh, I think it's time to draw a plot. So remember at the beginning of this lesson, I think in the first video about the concepts and equations, I talked, we used a, um, a plot chart to figure out, to figure out some of the equations. Now, this is when it comes it comes to use again. So what we need to know is that um, is that each of these points are going to represent an athlete. And once I draw a line, say between athletes one and two, it means that they have already done a competition. So in this case, there should only be one line coming out from uh, athlete one's point. Only two coming out from athlete two's point. Only three coming out of athlete three's point. Only four coming out of athlete four's point. And only five lines coming out of athlete five's point. Because it says that right here. Now we're going to start doing it. And so we know that this athlete number one right here can only have one line. But we don't really know who it is to. So all I'm going to do right here is going to start from number five. So to start from number five, there is only five others. So I'm going to make athlete five play a game against athlete six, against athlete one, athlete two, athlete three, and athlete four. And all together, that's one, two, three, four, five lines. Now I'm going to make an X right here where athlete one is just to show that we can't add any more lines to athlete one yet now now i'm going to do number four and for number four i already have one extending to five remember many students they forget about to count about this line and they get confused or they get something wrong well we still need to count that so four needs needs four lines coming out of it and that's already and there's already one so we need three more so let's go to three, uh, three, two, and why can't we do one? Well, that's because one is already crossed off. So then the final one would be two, six. Let's count how much lines are at point four. One, two, three, four. Great. Now we're going to go to number three. So number three already has one and two. So let's go to... Um, but th so let's we let's add one more, the third line to athlete three's point because it already has one two lines. So there's two options, either two or six. Should we go to two or six? Well, why can't we go to two? That's because two is crossed off. Two can only two can only athlete two has only played two games. And does it already have two lines? It already does, in fact. It already has one, two. So athlete three's only hope is to go all the way to number six. And this is, um, we're already done with our plot right here, according to the information given. So we already have three, athlete three's point crossed off because it already has one, two, three games played. Number four, because it already has one, two, three, four games played. And number five as well, because it already has one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five games played. So we could also cross those two off. So now for number six, let's count how much lines are coming out from number athlete number six. One, two, three. So how many games have athlete six already played? Three games. So this video is just in problem two, just a quick um, introduction to using line plots in this type of situation, kind of uh, sketching out the relationships each of these athletes have to one another, just 
um, how much games they have played and so on. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next